what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate it. Happy New Year. And please, God, let 2021 be better than 2020. Now, if you have not seen it yet, which I don't think you have, because I think it's actually going live shortly before I upload this. Uh, I have a video on the channel um, dealing with the Bulldozer, and it shows you how I got the sledgehammer diamond and gold that's correct i've already got this thing diamond and gold i've got the knife diamond as well as the m79 diamond so when you complete all the camos for the sledgehammer it too will be diamond which looks absolutely sick and i got i got some uh, small clips towards the end of this video make sure you stay tuned and watch those i'll show you some uh, eliminations and stuff and show you what the gold and uh, diamond look like and there's two different sledgehammers and we'll get into that here in a second but this is the thing folks I got two mistakes in that video I uploaded and because it's almost a half hour long I am not going to go back and erase those two ups those two mistakes there's something I do at the beginning and the end of a clip that tells me that I need to you know erase something or I'm taking, or taking a break or something you tell me what that is and tell me the exact time in the video where those two mistakes happened. And I'm not going to give you one, but I'm going to give you two codes off of a Mountain Dew 12 pack. I think each code is for a one hour of double XP. But here's the catch, folks. One of these codes could be double xp for the entire year that's the promotion that mountain dew is running that's not nothing that i'm doing i'm just saying that you know if i use these codes i would have the same chance as you would but here's what you gotta do pay close attention you need to follow me over on twitter and send me a direct message if you post a message on my twitter page it will not count it must and i repeat it must be in a direct message any messages that are posted that um that are not a direct message to me so it's hidden nobody else knows what it is will not count and i repeat those messages will not count so what i will do is i, I literally my neighbor i don't drink pop i haven't drunk pop in six years my my neighbor is a huge mountain dew uh, drinker he gave me like like a dozen 12 packs last night and I cut all the codes out of them so I'm gonna do this in a, in a few videos because I've already got I've got like 31 tokens for double for uh, XP and weapon XP so I'm gonna share what I have so you must and I repeat you must find the two times in the video that I will put a card at the top you should have already seen it also I'll put a link to it in the video uh, in the description find the um, Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll put a pinned comment too to make it even easier. I'll put a pinned comment with the uh, with the link and my Twitter um, link. Um, tell me what I said and what time I said those in, and uh, make sure you follow me over on Twitter. Otherwise, it won't count because I need to send you a message. And what I'm gonna do is I will take a picture of the cards and send them to you again these cards were cut last night these cards have not been used actually you know I, I'm gonna be putting out another video where you have another opportunity where I unlocked um, the um, peach rolls thing tortillas uh, stuff the skin and the calling card and the emblem and I'll be given two more way in that video but I had to come up with something different. It can't be the, the same thing. So let's go ahead and get started with this here. Good luck, by the way. Good luck. Treasure Pack Bulldozer. I like to say they made this operator for me, but that's not the case. They have no clue who I am. I know, you know I've been talking with them back and forth, dealing with, dealing with issues. They've been really upfront. And actually, if you watch that Sledgehammer video, because that Sledgehammer does have a bunch of problems with it, um, I show you a message where. They sent me where I've been talking to them back and forth. So let's go ahead and get into this video here. 
And by the way, here is the M79 Diamond. If you have not seen it, that is another issue. Um, that's something that's happened that they are aware of also and they're working on. Here is the Bulldozer, and absolutely sick. I love this. I would love to say they made this for me, but I know that is not the case. I wish they would give us some challenges to get different skin types. Maybe they will in the future. I don't know. Um, but I'm not crazy about his outfit. But hey, it's Bulldozer. I'll run it. If I'm not running something else for a challenge or whatever, this is what I'm going to be running. I mean, I have to. I don't have no choice. You know, it's called Bulldozer. And my, you know, my name, my nickname is Bulldozer. Hence the channel, Mr. Bulldozer Gaming. So there is the skin. So let's go ahead and take a look. You got two tracer weapons. Here's the attack rifle. I haven't really used this a whole lot yet. I haven't used any of these two weapons with the tracer rounds in them because I've been working on the slow chamber as soon as I unlocked it. I actually had all this stuff recorded uh, a day or a day, a day and a half ago or so. Just have been so busy doing other stuff, it's hard to put these videos together. Then there was so much editing that went into the Sledgehammer Diamond video, um, and like I said, it's 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 about a half hour long, but it's worth the watch. And here is the shotgun. Good thing is I've got a bunch of weapons that uh, only need one kill for gold, and I'm saving those off for a um, a special game. And so the good thing is I don't have either one of these in that stage. So I'll be able to use these and use the tracer rounds and not have to wait till I get the gold and diamond unlock. Here is the sledgehammer folks. And again, this sledgehammer is absolutely sick. And wait to see this finishing move. This finishing move is absolutely insane. There, like I said, there is so many hiccups. One of the hiccups is if you have a sticker on your sledgehammer, and you put the diamond camo on, your sticker disappears. Here's the finishing move. Look at that, that is just awesome. And let's take a look at that one more time. I think it's just it's so sweet, I cannot see that enough. And actually, that is another one of the issues with the finishing moves that they happen way 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 too much and I talk about that in the diamond video um, I got an hour and 42 minutes of gameplay where I had to all I had left to do is one of the camos the last camo I had to do was for the uh, smokes suns or the flashbangs and I want an, an entire hour and 42 a full length recording of Elgato without getting one of those because every time I went to get a kill it was a finishing move it was insane I really don't know what that charm is supposed to be it says the penetrator so I guess it's supposed to be a like a rocket or something it's, I don't understand that you know tell me down below does that have anything to do with the bulldozer with the sledgehammer and stuff I mean I, I don't know I don't know if I skipped that watch or not, or that, that wristband. We'll go ahead and buy them, and I want to say thank you to my son. This was actually a Christmas present from my son. He gave me the COD points to get this. Pretty sweet. So here we go, folks. This is where it gets a little nasty. And another Treyarch slash Activision move. I don't know who, who did it. They're doing the same thing they did with Modern Warfare. Okay, you can see you got the sledgehammer here, but you see there's a lock on the sledgehammer. I can go in and use the sledgehammer. It's called the heavy handle, handle I think is what it's, what it's called. But here's the thing. Every kill I get, none of those count towards the camos. I have to play 15 games and basically get a double kill with a combat knife at least once in 15 games and to make matters even worse you cannot back out I did test it off the, the very first uh, one I did I got the uh, double kill I wait made sure it said double kill on my screen because they say get two kills rapidly they need they need to just say double kills because I got a video on the channel that I'll be releasing today I just gotta do the thumbnail for it and stuff like that talk about the launchers 
and I got one time I got two kills within four seconds it doesn't count as a double kill another time two kills in four seconds and counted as a double kill so that's the reason why the launchers are giving everybody so many problems it is not the game is not counting the kills correctly and the proof will be in that video when you watch it today make sure you watch that because again that is insane and no wonder you're not seeing a lot of people running around with the altar dark matter because it is just insane you can get the double kills but it's a lot harder than it needs to be and for the Sigma and for the RPD I have all the other I think it's RPG RPG not RPD RPG uh, I have every camo done for those except for the double kills all of 34 camos are completed for both weapons and I am struggling with the double kills because the game is not counting them correctly and again that will be in a video coming up so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to show you uh, all 15 eliminations and here comes number one again this, these just need to be double kills See, I get quite a few triple kills, and then I think I got hit with the uh, skill based matchmaking bug while I was doing this, too, folks. And this is before all the rumors came down that uh, they had done something with skill based matchmaking, which I really don't think they have. I think it's just a bunch of uh, malarkey, as some people like to say it. Um, you're gonna see, uh, I get a I think it's a triple kill, then surely in that same game, because I just went ahead and played. The whole game with the knife i love the knife you know it usually in gun game i will get my knife gold in gun game because the last few call of duties you've been able to do that um but i don't think you could do that in modern warfare come to think of it i think the ones before that you could but they changed that modern warfare and uh because i would love to hear people get get so mad and uh when you set them back like, hopefully they, they bring gun game back because that is just so fun. And every time you stab somebody, it sets them back on the previous weapon. But, yeah, all of a sudden, I start lagging really, really bad. Where I was having a really good game and everything. And then all of a sudden, that huge lag bug hits. I mean, you're going to see it. You're telling what you think. But again, you're going to see every one of these. These are all 15 of the... Uh, it's actually you can say 30 kills, um, but 15 sets of double kills. Let me say it that way. So you can unlock the sledgehammer, which I, th I think is not right. I said you, you go through the hassle and you take and you spend the $24 for the operator. You shouldn't have to go through the hassle of paying or playing that to get that unlocked. Now take a look at this, folks. Is that coming around here? Here it comes, look. Now I have a good connection. In fact, not, not only do I have a good connection, I actually just got brand new equipment. So I know it is not my internet. I, I got 14 eliminations with the knife. Again, that's all I was using. 14 eliminations with the knife. And all of a sudden this starts happening. I mean, I don't know. You make the call. I think it, it is a little suspicious, you ask me. I mean, this person just running in place and stuff, and just absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and go back to the uh, eliminations. Finish off the rest of these. So we can get this all locked. And it will come up on your screen when you have finished them. And I tell you, I, yeah, I love Newtown. I absolutely love it. Ever since they brought Newtown out, I have not played any of the other maps. I haven't played any of the new maps that came out with Season 1, if there was. I mean, I couldn't tell you. I'll be honest with you. I couldn't tell you. Because I only play Newtown 24-7. I absolutely love this map. And 
the only time I'll play another map is with a, uh, if I'm working on a challenge or something like that. Like, for instance, you know, working on the Tostino's pizza rolls, getting that stuff all locked. Uh, actually, excuse me, no, it's not that. Uh, the uh, Alder uh, number 90 operator scan. Right here is the message you're going to be looking for. Right there, it tells you, you know, using the combat knife, you have to get 15 kills in 15 different matches. But um, number 90 skin uh, on the battle pass, Alder. I think it's Alder. Um, yeah, it's Alder. And uh, one of the things you got to do is you have to get. You have to get 10 eliminations of down people, but I think that is kind of bugged also, and I'll show you in that video. Make sure you stay tuned to that. I got so much stuff coming up. I just hit uh, Battle Pass Tier 100, so not only am I in the process of recording the number 90s uh, operator, Alder, I also got to do Stitches number 100 skin. I got a little technique on how it's going to make you really easy to do that number 90 Alder um, stage, I think it's stage two. Very, very simple. So make sure you watch for that video, pay attention to it. The only way you do that is you subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications bell, then check all so every time I upload a video, you will see it's uploaded. There you go, folks. You can see the lock is gone. We have all 15 eliminations. Again, this is going to take you some time. Just whatever you do, uh, you know, I play, I only play Nuketown. I suggest you do something like Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirm. Uh, stay away from Domination, Hardpoint, Search and Destroy. Any of those long time base games. Kill Confirm, Team Deathmatch, those games are over pretty fast. Domination game can run 15 to 25, maybe 30 minutes for one game. By that time, you could have played three team deathmatch games so and again because you cannot back out because if you do you will lose what you just did uh, it used to be it wasn't like that and then people you know a lot of people do that in Fortnite you complete your challenge and you back out I think it's only a matter of time before they, they change that but then again I think a lot of people are not playing Fortnite now because of the fact is you know the whole sand issue there's just a bunch of problems with it this season I haven't played I think I don't even think I'm a level 10 in Fortnite this season folks I'm not kidding you and I always complete my battle pass I don't I seriously do not think I'm gonna complete the battle pass I have no interest in playing this season nothing of this season in Fortnite appeals to me it makes me want to play it I would rather play this so let's go ahead and take a look at what the camos look like by the way you can see the uh, heavy-handed that is the one you get with bulldozer so it's got the regular sledgehammer that's the one we unlocked I'm um, heavy-handed it just it's got a different um, head on the sledgehammer and it's got a wrap on the handle which I think it just looks a lot nicer yeah again that there is some issues with it but make sure you watch that video here's an up-close look Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stickers. You can put one sticker on it. I usually always put my current prestige sticker on stuff. This is actually a, a, this is a pretty nice prestige sticker. Now I'm actually prestige six. So I just hit level 151, I think it is. So almost finished with this season. And I still got like 50 plus days to go left. 50 plus days to go, excuse me. So let's go ahead and take a look at the camos. Um, again, the camos are pretty nice. Some of these camos, you know, looking at it, like right here, look how dull this looks. It, I mean, the sticker is brighter than the camo. They, they really need to work on this. And I don't know if I show it in this video. I don't know if I recorded it or not. But uh, actually, I know I didn't because it wasn't unlocked. Um, if you watch the gold and diamond video and you look at the gold sledgehammer it looks absolutely pathetic it really does it's horrible but if you keep the gold on there and you go to your creative class wall it looks gorgeous you know, 
in this stage right here the gold looks really dark it's dingy and you can barely see it and the same with the dark matter the dark matter um, which I don't have dark matter on lock but you can still see it the dark matter is very very dark you really can't tell what it is so I can only assume that if I had dark matter on locked ultra dark, dark matter excuse me and that was on the wall in the credit class it would look a lot better but see some of these some of these colors look fine but then and then when you look at the sledgehammer in game it looks so much more brighter so much more clear so I don't know what the deal is I don't know if maybe it's because in, in these pictures here there's a lock on there but really I don't recall seeing a difference from when I had the camos on lock I really don't but I do think I do show you the uh, the gold and what the gold and the diamond looks like on here and you'll see matter of fact you know what I just thought of it you will see look look at this right here look how dull that looked and that is the diamond look how look how dull that looks that looks awful and you see how your sticker like fades away and there is the dark matter see it's really dark I mean, you can't even tell where the, where the back edge of the slammer, sledgehammer is but you see how your, your sticker is right there but when you go to the the diamond the sticker fades away so that is one of the things they're working on so now let me go ahead and show you what the um, the diamond sledgehammer looks like on your credit class wall I mean, I mean I have it with the diamond knife and just absolutely sick take a look at that folks that is just that is one sexy wall right there you know there's a look these two weapons right here a lot of time go into the game you know people talk about skill based matchmaking and stuff and you know all this folks I hardly get into lobbies with people that are over um, ranked over 100 and you know why that is it's because I've got my knife diamond I've got the sledgehammer diamond I've got the M79 diamond I got uh, all the camos done except for the last for the uh, Sigma launcher I got all the camos done except for the last of the um, RPG uh, launcher and that destroys your uh, KD it absolutely destroys your KD but I could care less about KD I never have been a KD player if you go back and you watch any of my Call of Duty videos you will see I could care less about kill death ratio and I mentioned this before I forget which Call of Duty it was I died like almost 50 times in one game um, playing with some friends of mine and we was playing um, wasn't capture a flag it was something I, mean, I think it was headquarters I think it was headquarters and I would go capture the headquarters okay and then they would be picking people off well I would still get killed by grenades and stuff but I would go capture the headquarters I would let them hang back get kills and everything because I could care less because the objective of the game was to capture the headquarters so at one time I think I was like in the top 50 I think it was most most deaths or, or, or something like that I forget, I forget what it was uh, but I was also ranked extremely high on the leaderboards uh, for captures too because that was all I did that was like that was my job of the team I went and and got the headquarters and it, it worked out well. I mean, we won a ton of games. I miss those guys. Uh, some of them still play, some of them don't. But uh, that was that was the good old days. Like I said, I've been playing Call of Duty for a long time, folks. A very, very long time. Uh, here is the regular sledgehammer. This is the one you get by doing the 15 double kills. And this is gold. And this is the one you get by buying the bulldozer. Don't forget about the double XP I'll be giving away. It could be a year uh, long on double XP. Who knows? I don't even know that, but it's possible. Uh, make sure you follow the information in the, in the beginning of this video. And uh, that way you might have a chance to win not one, but two codes. 
again we do appreciate you watching and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell if you do subscribe and hit the notifications bell make sure you go into that bell and you select all notifications that way you will know when I upload my next video thank you for watching this is the bulldozer get your killing on and I'm out of here